Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you my April and May BoxyCharm. My April BoxyCharm came so late that I thought it was May's BoxyCharm. Uh, and then like literally May's BoxyCharm came a few days later. Um, but unfortunately with everything going on, I'm not too surprised. <laughs> Um, it's just the way that things are now with everything going on. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the April box that I got first. Okay, so there is a little sneak peek of everything that's in there. Okay, so this Glam Glow Berry Glow Prebiotic, probiotic Recovery Mask was... Um, it was the little choice item because like I think they open it up like towards like the middle of the month where you can choose one item that's in your box. This is an item that I chose because this is just a great brand. Uh, the Glam Glow Hollywood California always has really good products. Oh this smells really good too. Wow. Okay. So that's what kind of what it looks like inside. You have a nice looking mask. Mm. It smells like a smoothie would taste. Ooh, that smells really quite good, like like a yogurt smoothie. Uh, you leave on for 10 minutes. So that's going to be really cool to try out. Um, so if I try this like in the shower or something, that makes the most sense. Yeah, so that makes the most sense. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my next one. Alright, so the next one is this Byla Voss Essentials. Pro Series uh, eyeshadow palette. So here we go. Those are the shades that we got right in there. These are super pretty. Um, yeah, so there we go. We got a couple of pigmented shades here, the green and the purple. So there's that. That's super pretty. Okay, so the next one we have here Okay, so the next one we have here, actually, I'm really confused. I think, I don't know, I think this is, okay, this is May's box, my bad. So that's what I'm showing you right now is May's box, and then we'll do April. Um, they just came so close together, I forget which one came first, but I'm pretty sure this is May's box. I know some people get the inserts where they kind of do a price breakdown, and like more details of what everything is, but I haven't received any cards the last several months. So that doesn't really help. So I don't, I, I don't know. I mean, I'm pretty sure this one's the May box. Now that I think, I think this came separate, came second. Um, so the next one we have here is this shampoo bar, which well, that's kind of interesting. Daily Concepts. Uh, this is plant-based and vegan, cruelty-free. Okay. I've never tried a shampoo bar. Ooh, this smells really, ooh, wow. This is like, oh, whoa. This is like a shea butter. Like one of those things you'd kind of see at like an artisan farmer's market. Like, you know, those handmade soaps. This smells really nice. It has like um, a little string kind of attached throughout, of it, throughout it. Can't talk today, guys. Um, so it's really quite moldable because usually I'm like, how's this gonna work? But this is really quite, like, like it's uh, easy to mold it taste, or the, <laughs> it, uh, not taste, that'd be bad, but it feels like. Uh, because I'm like, how are you going to get, like, soap in your hair, you know what I mean? Like, but this smells really nice. I have so much shampoo, so I'm not sure when I'm going to get to this, but I'm going to have to try this out because it smells super nice. So... Oh, it, it also seems like this is something that you should not leave out in any sort of warm environment because it feels like it'll melt very easily. Um, this is made with avocado oil, um, cactus, and aloe. Okay. Yeah, so it smells really nice. So I'll have to try that out. I hope it works on my color treated hair. Um, I don't know. It looks like it's pretty easy and like doesn't have all like those sulfates so you won't have to worry about like that like damaging your hair 
All right, so the next one we have here is the Seraphine Botanicals Whimsical Wisteria Conditioning Lip Polish. So there's that. I, I guess this is like a lip scrub. It has avocado, apricot, and jojoba oils, as well as shea and cocoa butters. Blended with chamomile, wisteria, honeysuckle flower extracts. Gently buff on the lips until crystal sugar melts. And then rinse with cold water or wipe with the wet tissue to reveal soft, soft, revitalized skin. I'm going to open it just to kind of, you know, see what that's like. Oh wow, it has a nice scent. I'll put it on my lips real quickly and I'll... Okay, it kind of comes out like it's pink. Like it's kind of pink in me, you can see that. But it comes off like kind of clear on my finger here. Very lightly scented. Okay, so we'll leave that on for a little while and then see how that tastes. Whoa, the sun's coming back out. That's weird. <laughs> okay, it's a little bit late. It's like 7.30 maybe. <laughs> okay, so the last item in this box is an eyeshadow primer. So that's what, that's super cute packaging. Pretty vulgar. That's super cute. Okay, so that's what we got. Um, I think honestly, I'm gonna try this on in a little bit. I'll try on the eyeshadow and show you guys. So it's kind of a nude color. Apologies for the um, weird lighting. The sun came back out, even though like it's. Uh, close to sundown. Weather's been crazy here lately. Okay, so it kind of blends in very nicely. So it has kind of a nude undertone. So I'm going to try putting on some of this eyeshadow with some of the tools that I actually am grateful to have. And I think I'm pretty sure this is the April box. Oof, the sun. Okay, wow, that's... All right, we're just going to work with it. Okay, so here is the April box. So that's everything that's in there. Okay. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to try these kind of neon fun brushes here. So this is fun. Honestly, I never buy brushes because all these boxes, they send me, they send me so many of them. So that's what this looks like. See, and then there's like an eyebrow little thingy here. Or like mascara, I guess it could work for that too. So, it's cute. Okay, so we're going to try out some of these brushes. So we have several of them. It's kind of fun. It's kind of cool, actually. At first I thought they were like light eye light, neon eyeliners or something. I don't know why I thought that, but that's what I thought. Okay. So, I guess let's dive in here to maybe the green. Because I really love wearing green, so let's maybe try this one. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of show you guys what that looks like. Okay, well, that's really, that's really pretty. It really shows up quite a bit without even having to like really layer it on the brush. That's super pretty. I love this. So we got that. Okay. Wow. Yeah, I really like that color. It's really quite nice. Um, I have some other brushes, so maybe I'll try something else here just for funsies. Let's try, let's try out this gold. Okay, I'm going to try out the gold and put it in the viewer here or something. It's kind of some fun springtime colors here. Okay, so it's nice. I like this. Okay. Yeah, I like that. That's pretty. Okay. So I like this. I'm liking this palette. They have like some fun colors of some blacks, some plum berry. I also really like using purples. So, yeah. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to show you here, I get a lot of these. I just get, I gave 
Um, I gave some highlighter to my sister-in-law. <laughs> I, yeah, I gave, a, I gave some highlighter to my sister-in-law because I literally get these things every single month. So, except for maybe May. <laughs> but I got, this kind of looks cool though, this iconic London highlighter here. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this on. Ooh, this is nice. Look at this applicator. That's what that looks like. It's really quite shimmery, like a gold. Wow, look at that. Okay, so I'm just going to like apply it somewhere. I'm just kind of show you guys what this is looking like. Let's just do it right here. All right. Oh, that's whoa. That's really nice. I like that. Okay. Yeah, you can kind of. It doesn't like. It's not like super noticeable, but it's like you kind of can see the sheen here. So that's kind of nice. So I really like that. Where it's not like crazy noticeable. So I like this one. I'll probably, I'll definitely be using this one. As I said, I don't use these too often, but I will be using that. Okay, so the next <laughs> thing we have here in the April box is the makeup eraser. I've gotten these before. I don't know. They're okay. Um, I just wasn't super enthused about it. So I guess it just, you just use it and wipe the, your makeup off, I guess. Oh, okay, so this is what it looks like actually. Okay, look at that. That's kind of cute. I like the colors. Yeah, look at that. Hmm. Okay, that's actually not bad. So, how do you, so you wash, wet. Okay, so I'm not going to demonstrate because you have to wash this, wa machine wash hot with your towel load, fabric softener, dryer sheet. Wait. Yeah, it says wash before first use to activate fibers to prevent staining. Fabric softener, dryer sheet, and dryer safe. Um, okay, yeah. So you have to wash this first. Then soak in warm water. The warmer, the better. And then I guess you wipe it on your face to erase your make makeup. And then on the other side, there's two sides here. One's a long fiber, one's a short fiber. I can't, I can't really tell, to be honest. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, yeah, and then you just wipe it, flip it over to exfoliate. Okay, that's fine. Um, realistically, how, how often am I going to use this? I don't, I don't know, to be honest. I mean, it's cute, but I don't know. It just seems kind of like a lot of work just to remove your makeup. Just, that's just my opinion. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to shove that back into the box. Okay. So the next one we have here is this Pore Profession the Pore Professional Hydrate Primer. I think there was like one or two of these. One um, I think was a smoothing balm, and then the other one's like hydrating. I got the hydrating face primer. I've never tried this one before, so that's super awesome. Um, this is like a super popular item. You get like the little mini ones in so many boxes. 12-hour hydration, minimize the look of pores and fine lines, moisturize and prime to help your makeup stay put. Shea butter, hyaluronic acid. Okay, so I probably should have used maybe this first before I put some makeup. Uh, okay, but that's what it looks like. That's what it looks like right there. Okay, just gonna put on a tiny amount. I'm not. I mean, this, I don't know. Yeah, okay, so it's kind of like, it has a slight, has a slight tint, if you can see that. But like a super light tint. Feels moisturizing. Oh, and it's very light, so it's not like, the thing is, my issue with a lot of primers is that they're very thick. And then you go to put on the foundation and then like there's just so much on my face that I break out. Um, so 
I don't use them very much, but this is actually quite nice. It just blends right into your skin. Okay. So. Okay. Okay, I guess you can wear it under your, your foundation or you can wear it under your foundation or you can wear it alone. You know where it works. All right, so the last item, um, this isn't a card, this is just more about the makeup eraser. All right, um, so the last item, I believe this is the item that I picked in my choice. This is Elemis, which I guess is a really expensive brand. Uh, again, I don't know <laughs> the value of it because they don't send me any flipping cards, which kind of is like, mm, okay. <laughs> That's all we're going to say about that. Uh, Elemis Superfood. This is the Kika Calm Hydration Juice. Super Hydration Gel. This is another um, example of a hydration type of moisturizer that's not super thick. This cooling hydrator is packed with fruit waters and antioxidant rich Kika. Apply every morning to cleanse skin. Okay. Let's try this out. I don't want to use too much of it. Okay. Alright. Whoa, that smells so nice. Whoa. Like kiwi maybe? So that's kind of what it looks like. It's gonna like fall down my finger probably, see? Yeah. That's super nice. And super it smells really nice. Oh, it smells really nice and, and super lightweight too. Oh, oh, I really love this. This smells so good. Okay, so these, again, these were the $25 boxes. June, I believe, is gonna be a Boxy Lux month, and I believe the Boxy Lux has up to $275 worth of product. And I believe the regular Boxy Charm is up to like 150 or 175 or something like that. Uh, again, the Boxy Lux is a $50 subscription, so instead of paying 25 normally, it'll be a $50. Um, charge. Oh gosh, this smells so nice. Mm. Okay, that smells really nice. I'm gonna be using that one right away. I don't know, now I, I wish I started using that sooner. That smells really nice. Yeah, I really like that a lot. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I really like that. So that's pretty much it for my two boxy charms for March and May. I can't think. And of course, there goes the sun. Thankfully, it's out of my face. Came came peeking out, got out of my face, and now it went away. Weird. Um, but yeah. So okay. So. <laughs> Yeah, that's it for my boxy charm for the past two months. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of these products. Um, I know I, I was looking at a few other YouTubers who got like, especially for the April box, who got literally the same stuff or almost the same things. Because at first I'm like, I don't know. I wasn't really sure how to feel about it um, originally. But actually, I don't it's not bad like it's not too bad I'm not really super enthused about the makeup eraser I don't know it just seems like a lot of work just to remove makeup this is my opinion um, but I love this LMS the this iconic illuminator is actually um, quite nice the LMS serum is super nice and it definitely redeems the box because it's a higher price point um, and then the professional I'll definitely be using too um, so that's one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so that's five products. Okay, and so the brushes are always nice. Um, Maze Box is pretty nice. Um, the eyeshadow primer I'll be trying out. Um, and then this uh, Biotanicals facial or lip scrub will be cool too. Um, and of course the Glam Glow I'll be using ASAP. And then the shampoo bar was kind of, was kind of different. Not something that that I normally would see in this box, but I'll definitely 
be trying it out because it's supposed to be like supernatural and good on the hair so that'll be cool and then we have the eyeshadow palette so all in all for the $25 I spent on each of these boxes it's actually not too bad I got some pretty good quality items here initially I wasn't really eh, super fond of the <laughs> April box with the makeup eraser that's really the only one that I'm probably like I don't know if I'll be using it but yeah that is what it is you just some things you just yeah but I feel better about these than I do about like the ipsy bags just because a lot of those like we kind of hits and misses um whereas a lot of these they have a lot of full-size good quality items so i highly recommend them and so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video uh please do hit that thumbs up please subscribe if you enjoy my content i would really appreciate it and i'll see you guys next time bye